Thank you all for coming here. Um, it's great that we have so many guests here. Um, yeah, my name is Anna Zagorski. I am a researcher for Green IT at the German uh, Environment Agency. And yeah, for me, this big interest um, and uh, uh, so many guests shows that there's a big interest in the topics of uh, sustainable software um, in the IT industry. And uh, yeah, we at the German Environment Agency um, know through our projects, uh, through our work, that um, software has a major impact um, on, um, on hardware. Um, um, yeah, software leads can, can lead to hardware death um, because of a lot of um, problems associated with software from missing updates, from uh, rising uh, requirements of hardware uh, and just a big bloat of software. Um, and uh, because of all of these reasons, um, 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 we have uh, um, the problem that software leads to yeah, the hardware death, and we have a scientific term for it, uh, software-induced um, obsolescence, uh, which leads to a lot of uh, electronic waste, of course. And yeah, today, um, we want uh, to raise um, awareness for this topic for green coding and uh, sustainable software at um, the summit. And um, yeah, I, I would like to introduce two projects, two research projects of the German Environment Agency. Um, the first one is uh, um, Blue Angel for software. Uh, you can say that uh, this is the first um, eco label for software worldwide. Um, and uh, with this eco label, we wanted to tackle all of these mentioned problems, and we elaborated um, with the Eco Institute and also the um, Environmental Campus in Birkenfeld and also KDE uh, the core criteria of the Blue Angel uh, for software. Um, first one is the resource and energy efficiency. The second uh, criteria is potential hardware operating life. And the third one is uh, user autonomy. I think we will have time to explain it in more detail in the uh, next sessions. Um, yeah, and the second project, um, yeah, you heard already of it. It's uh, Soft Aware, um, where we wanted to uh, provide uh, tools for measuring and manage managing the impact uh, of software for you, for the uh, IT developers. Um, yeah, I would like to mention um, three key aspects for the future of, um, um, of sustainable software. The f first one is, um, um, yeah, we need uh, uh, to build better and to to um, to um, uh, yeah, more sustainable um, digital infrastructure, so we need here transparency. The second uh, key uh, aspect is uh, we need regulation, uh, so we need here to get much more into regulation, for example, in the eco-design directive for software, and th the third key aspect um, um, is uh, public procurement. I think sustainable software um, has to um, get into the guidelines of uh, public procurement. Um, and uh, I think open source software can play here also a major role and be a pioneer in um, sustainable software. Um, yeah, so thank you again for coming here and um, I wish a lot of fun and uh, interesting discussions and uh, um, interesting insights into uh, um, the topics of green coding and uh, sustainable software and uh, yeah, now I would like to hand over to Max. <laughs>